What's up guys? So today we're doing something a little bit different. We are looking at another mansion. So uh, we reached out to one of our friends and he's allowed us to come check out the Carmine Mansion here in Marshalltown, Iowa. All right guys, so here we are at the Carmine Mansion here in Marshalltown, Iowa. Probably one of the most eclectic mansions here in Marshalltown, if not in all of Iowa. I believe this is a Queen Anne Victorian style, but really it's just kind of a mix match of a lot of different styles. And this house has a ton of character inside and out. Unfortunately, also though, it has a lot of settling and structural issues that go throughout the foundation and, and then throughout the house itself. So this house, if one were to restore, it would have to jack the whole thing up, fix the foundation issues, and then go through just floor by floor and fix whatever settling has occurred. This porch though, it is massive. It's really huge. Look at that. There's an issue right there. Look at all that water coming down just right off of this beam. It's no wonder there's a lot of rot and, and uh, settling right here. All the water is just coming down throughout and then just dropping out there. You can see it here too. But these massive wood columns are pretty cool here. And then they go into this detail work here, which is actually uh, metal. And then same up on these guys. Those corbels are like a stamped metal or probably a handworked metal because this was done in the early 1900s. Okay, let's go in this thing. It's dark in there, but look at this door. Massive oak door with a glass window. And you get into this entryway here. Okay, so we're in the entryway here. So we have the front door there. We have this beautiful leaded glass window behind me here. And then you have the door that actually goes into the house, which is also another super solid oak door with a, a glass window in it. Okay, let's get inside this thing. So really pretty, you know, coat closet, and then there's bathroom for welcoming guest and then who's who let this crazy one in hey what are Hi. you doing <laughs> oh but yeah the detail and the woodworking in here is just really phenomenal you have this arched doorway here with all the detailed i can't believe someone would paint over that all the detailed uh woodwork there and these detailed this had to have been hand carved, all this Somebody carving here. Somebody went to a lot of effort to strip the paint. Somebody out. Can did you imagine go, yes. How much work that would be? I can't imagine. That would be a ton of work. But yeah, so you can see that's the stair that's the main staircase going up to all three all three stories going up. Uh, and it has the three arches there. Very I would say this is a very Victorian or Queen Anne style. All the detailing here. All the spirals, more detailing. What do you reckon this is? I don't know. Put it in your video. Someone will tell us. Beth wants to know what this is. Maybe it's a servant's call. I don't know. Okay, so this room is nice and bright which you can't tell because I'm super dark. This room is nice and bright. I'm assuming this is the dining room because uh, it's right off of the kitchen. And look at this. All, there's so many curved glass windows and curved glass um, shelving units and china cabinets. That's just, somebody went to a, a ton of work on this. So there's that built in there. There's also another one there. And then an additional one there. So all these ceilings, this is like a cove ceiling that you would see done in a lot of 50s houses. It's pretty, pretty interesting, the plaster work here. All the doorways with the dental molding on top. This, I don't know where the door is, but this at one point had a swinging door through it, which leads us into the kitchen, which has been completely gutted and started the remodel process. So all the cabinets and everything these are more, I don't know, probably 80s, 50s. I don't know, probably 80s cabinets, but uh, beautiful built in there. I'm assuming that was here at one point. And then you can also see the built in here. 
Look at this, this is really cool. Look at how they adjusted the shelving on here. So this has actually come through here and then they have notches, these rounded notches. And then they have these pegs which adjust the shelving. That's a really neat detail beadboard on the back. Huh. I'd never seen anything like that before. Okay, so now we're back. This is the main area again with the stairs going up. I'm guessing that this was uh, the reception hall, but it's also the main area in this down floor, in this main level living area. So it's kind of interesting. I don't know what you would use this space for uh, long-term, if this would be a living space or if it'd be a reception hall. It's, it's kind of a odd space. Um, but yeah, fireplace there. It looks like a coal fireplace with that cover on it. Look at that mitered glass there. You can see the detail cut into it here. Really pretty. Unfortunately, the derecho or the tornado took out the other one, so there would be another one flanking over there, which is really neat. And then the seats, the seats are really cool too, right by the fireplace there. How fun was that? Okay, so here, this goes out to the front of the house. It's just like another living space. You can see the settling on the floor where the foundation has issues. It just yeah. drops off there. But yeah, more curved glass windows. You can see the settling in the ceiling there too, how it drops down. Uh, more curved glass windows, all the rounded trim work that would have to be cut. Everything's oak hardwood under all this. There's a carpet, a carpet rug there, but it's all oak hardwood underneath. So here's, this is another room that's off of that main entry. And I don't know, library, den. You know, it has pocket doors on both there a pocket door going into the main area and then it separates off that sitting room or living area with another pocket door so i am i'm assuming this was probably a some sort of den or office uh, area i don't know pretty it's very pretty though and then all the detail work Not all that there there even around the windows you can see all that detail work okay should we go up to the second floor i say yes we should go up to the second floor. Uh, it's super dark up here. Uh, there was no, there's no light fixture in the hallway, which is kind of crazy, or the stairway. But you can see all oak tread comes up to this. I don't know, what would you call this, honey? Wood. Almost like a boarded batten. No. No? It's not. Uh, I don't know, wood. Paneling, it's not paneling. Okay, let's go up here, it's so dark. So you can't see it. Well, you can see it, but look at this window. This window is so deep. So you have what, probably a good 20 inches here. And then you have the window casing to the outside. Can you imagine just like, you could just hang out there, sit on the window, look at the neighbors. I don't know. Okay, second floor. So the previous owner went through and ripped out all the ceilings and they replaced a lot of the electrical, plumbing, um, and HVAC throughout the whole house. So on the second floor here, you have this main open kind of room or hallway, and then it breaks off into, I think, five bedrooms and a bathroom. So this first bedroom here obviously took on some water in this room. We've got floorboards that have buckled. Um, look at this lighting glass. This house is, like this is what you see from the street, is this leaded glass here in these heart shaped configuration. Really pretty. I know, I keep saying that. Really pretty. This is really pretty. That's really pretty. But it's true, this house is a, a very, a very pretty house. Window there that blew out during the tornado. It's boarded up. More leaded glass in here. This actually has, it's kind of interesting. It actually bumps in down here on all of them. I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's just the lead has kind of started to give. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I just broke a floorboard. Okay, let's see here. Bathroom, there's not really anything. I mean, it's it's pretty. Someone went through and remodeled it, so it's not original. 
original leaded glass over there, which is pretty cool. Of course, you can't see it because it's all blown out. Oh, where are we at here? Another room? Oh, that's a pretty room. Okay. Oh, another room? Master? I, I don't know, maybe. Look at this curved wall here. These big windows letting in a ton of light with the bench seating. And then you have these windows here, which are really, really neat. I like that pattern a lot. And then same on this one. Someone put in a window air conditioning unit. I wonder, I wonder if these windows, I think they slide up into the wall behind it. That's kind of interesting. I've never seen that before. Okay. Another room? Yeah. Okay, we're not gonna go in this room because all the windows are broken and it's pitch black. Wonder. Oh, look at that. There's power. Okay, so maybe we will come into this room. So you can feel that settling. This is where that foundation was settling on that side. Um, but really neat, round window, round window, round window, broken round window, all this, you can see outside. I can see <laughs> through the through the wall. Yeah, ton of settling, you can see it in through the cracking of all the windows. Okay. Another bedroom. Here, small bedroom. Floor definitely rolls. Floor definitely slopes and rolls a significant amount that way. Um, window, window, a lot of lighting in here. Um, I don't know, I think this was connected or maybe there was a closet there. That's interesting, on the other side of that wall. Let's we'll check that out. Closet, a ton of foundation cracks in there. They're cracking in the plaster. Okay, let's go over on the other side of that and see how cool it would be if there was like an old elevator shaft. Closet. I'm guessing it's that built in right there. So another small room. Again, really cool window detail. Of course, you can't see it. I'm so sorry, you guys. The lighting in here is just super tricky to try and get the windows from not being blown out. Or me from being super dark. Window detail. Okay, second bathroom on the second floor. Back windows. This lot has this, this house sits on a half acre lot, which is has a ton of backyard, a little bit of front yard. And at one point, they had a staircase that came up here from the exterior, and then this was like a small apartment. Okay, ready to go up to the third floor? It's kind of sketchy. So we have to climb up this little step stool and then make our way up these stairs here. But it's worth it, I think. Okay, let's go. Don't die. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay. Signs of more settling issues. Plaster pop in there. Bat poop. This place at night probably has a ton of bats flying around up here. But huge ceilings, like this is probably 12 foot, maybe taller, 14 foot ceilings. I think this originally was a ballroom on the third floor. So this at one point, you know, that wall wasn't there. That wall wasn't there. This was all just a wide open ballroom. Would have been really neat. Really beautiful windows, which you can't see because of the light blasting through them. Uh, there's an HVAC unit up here, which is kind of interesting. And look at this space up here. Man, that huge window, just floor to ceiling. It's kind of weird that they continued that all the way up to the ceiling and there's no, it's like no trim on top. So that's a little bit weird. Um, yeah. 
little closet. There's all sorts of like little nooks and crannies in this place. Little closet, itty, itty bitty closet. And then at some point, look at this. You can see at some point somebody built this roof line up and tied it up above the window. Why would you do that? That doesn't make any sense to me. And why not just fix it the way it should be fixed? Oh. Okay, and then from here, believe it or not, there's actually an attic up above, and I'm not gonna go up there. But, you can see, oh, another bathroom, hello. Another closet. Everything's tarred roof. You can see over there the chimney that comes up through here on the back. There's no flashing on it, so it's just. Uh, and that's up to the attic. I'm not going up there. Not to me. You can see, why did they do that? Uh, okay, you can see someone put, you can see someone put a service wire up here. But why would you go, I don't understand this. Why would you go on the outside of the brick? Like they're gonna have to throw out that wall. That goes up to the attic. It's probably where the bats are coming in. In this area, I'm sure there's a ton of them just right upstairs here. Okay, back down the treacherous stairs. Okay, Bethany thinks that there's an animal in here. I see daylight. Ah! Oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> I do think there's an animal in here, though. I don't see anything. Doesn't mean there's not. There's like a skittering sound that I keep hearing. It's probably bats. Okay. So there is a servant staircase there, which, I don't know, I think I'd take them out. I'm gonna let you go I don't first. Need them. Okay, down to the dungeon of doom. Holy buckets. Look at that brick. Oh man, is that foundation? Um, it's probably a supporting wall. Look, you can see this here. Look at how much that, this doorway's leaning. Yeah. It probably has to do with that. Oh, interesting. There's a window over there. there like a full window. Basement. What is that? You scared me. Is that where he burned his bodies? Maybe. <laughs> no. I don't know. Is I don't know what it was. Is it where he wood chipped his bodies? Somebody's in here, honey. Hello? Hello? All right, guys, we'll do a quick walk around on the outside of the house here. And you guys can kind of see it, because I'd hate to do the full inside and then leave you with nothing on the outside. So this is it. So it has a rounded front with kind of the A-frame peaks here. Pretty neat with this massive wraparound porch. I think just how bulky the columns and everything are just really give that porch a lot of depth and character. Like if it was just four by fours or six by sixes, it would look really weak. Not very, not very grand. So, okay, this is this side of the house here. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Up here, like the detail up on top of that, on that top window up in the attic. And then even the detailing around this window that we saw in the hallway that jumps out. That's just, it's a really cool property. And you can see, even here, you can see kind of some of the settling issues coming back to the house here. The corbel in the corner there. So neat, look at that. 
It's like an I-beam or something poking out of the roof up there. That's pretty crazy. All right, guys. Well, this was a tour of the, uh, the mansion. And we're going to leave it at that. It's pretty neat. Again, ton of work. Look at that. Oh, man. It's bad. Alrighty, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!